Hey, welcome back to Hostify, my name's Alex, and today we're having a very quick look at USP Switch 1.8.0. This update was released on the 5th of March, and it thankfully adds support for that nice remote access feature that we've come to get used to with the Edge Router line and also the USP Router now as well. Uh, this version obviously follows on from 1.7.0 that was released on the 18th of January this year, and that added support, well, initial support for the local web interface, which was quite nice, and that did require USP application 2.4.61. So in this video, we're going to update our USP Switch to 1.8.0, and also quickly demo the remote access feature, which is really nice. So this update applies to the USB switch, the larger USB switch pro, and also that new compact USB switch plus as well. So I've got my Hostify powered USB controller here. I've got my devices. I've got one device here, it's a USB switch, uh, so USB dash S. Uh, you can see I've got one update available, which is 1.8 and I'm currently on 1.7. So I'm gonna click update change now. So it says, are you sure you'd like to update this USB switch to firmware version 1.8.0? So I'm going to click confirm and we'll come back once that's done. So after a few minutes, the USB switch is now up to date with version 1.8.0. And if we click on the device here, we can now see we've now got the button for local web interface. So if I click on this, it will take us to a new tab. And it, what it's essentially doing is forwarding the GUI of the USB switch through USB itself. And then you'd be able to access it uh, for a for the cloud essentially. It doesn't require any port forwarding, doesn't require any sort of configuration, any public IP addresses. Um, this USB switch is on a, a 4G connection. I'm on my own sort of fiber connection here um, and it's it's all working as it should. So in theory, if you're external to this, this device, even on a mobile phone, you should be able to access the USB switch remotely and it allows you to have a lot more flexibility uh, with its configuration, even more so when you have the edge router and it's forwarding. Uh, GUI as well because there's a lot, a lot of configuration that you can't do on USB that you can do on Edge Router and similarly on the USB switch line you can as well so you can now um, get access to the GUI remotely and it seems like these stats are more up to date as well so uh, again if you're viewing a USB switch locally on its IP address the stats are up to date and you can see the traffic levels and different things and you can it's sort of the same thing when you view it on USB itself uh, so hopefully Ubiquiti brings this support to other devices like the Air Max line um, also the Air Fibers there's better be better support for the edge switches as well because at the moment they don't have that support so it seems like a good way of letting people uh, control those devices in a more advanced way and what they're used to rather than using the USP GUI itself and having to wait for Ubiquiti developers to add those features to the USP application in time so that's really good so you can download the software for the USP switch switch pro and switch plus uh, from the community post there's a link in the description down below to check that out if you like this sort of content don't forget to hit subscribe I've been Alex and we'll see you again next time <laughs>